Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our kind of series on winter sowing seed starting. So if you haven't seen the first video in this series, make sure you go back to my channel and watch the very first video where I talk about what I'm doing to winter sow these seeds in the low tunnel because we're not using the standard winter sowing procedure this year. We are winter sowing larger trays so we can get more seeds, more seedlings, more plants for the garden in this low tunnel instead of using the milk jugs. Um, as always, if you are looking for a video about how to you know, winter sow in the milk jugs, you can find that in my channel. Just go to my channel page and type in the search bar. You should be able to find what you're looking for. No problem. I uh, just wanted to clear that up before we get started. So today we're gonna to be winter sowing some petunias. Now, petunias are a great bedding plant. Obviously, I'm not going to use the petunias for cut flowers. Um, they don't make good cut flowers, but they are a really welcome addition to our bedding garden or flower borders, you know, all that kind of stuff. But when you go to the home improvement store, let's face it, you can be kind of lured in like, ooh, those are some good looking petunias. Um, but then you buy a whole bunch of them and you're just like, whoa, those petunias were actually really expensive. I should not have spent that money on a, a bedding annual flower. So the good news is, however, that petunias are actually insanely easy to grow when you use the winter sowing method. I've never, I can't speak for experience growing petunias indoors. I've never personally done it, but I have grown them using the winter sowing method. And I want to share it with you guys because it was so successful, seriously, so successful. So the petunias that I'm growing this year are the balcony mix. I picked this packet of seeds up at Baker Creek. Now, one of the main reasons that I wanted to get the balcony mix from Baker Creek is I was able to see that there were a lot of seeds in this packet. Um, you know, Petunia seeds are teeny tiny little things, almost like just little black specks, very small seeds. And, you know, when you order a lot of the more specific varieties from seed places, it'll be like 25 seeds or something like that. So um, when it comes to growing petunias from seed, I always think it's the best course of action to pick a heirloom variety that you know for sure is going to have tons of seeds in the package just so you get the most for your money because let's face it those hybrids they can get very very expensive if i was going to try to grow one of the hybrids uh petunias from seed i would definitely start the seed indoors and take very particular care of it but since we're growing from seed to maintain our budget um, I really went with the seed packet that had the most seeds in it and I ended up sowing about three full trays of petunias this day. So I was really excited about that. So the first thing I'm going to do to get these petunia seeds ready to be winter sowed is I'm going to grab my seed tray and I'm going to put some paper down in the bottom of it and I'm just going to fill this seed tray up with potting soil. As always, you can use a seed starting mix. It's really just up to you what you have available, what you want to use. Um, after I've put that soil in here, I am just going to firm down that soil, make sure it's nice and compact. Just using my hands to do that. After I have done that, I'm just going to take my petunia seeds and I am going to lightly surface sow these petunia seeds into the seed trays. Like I said, these seeds are teeny tiny. I'm not going to cover them. I'm not going to do anything. Uh, once I've surface sowed these, you know, pretty thinly because, again, we don't want to over sow the tray. I'm guilty of doing that a lot. Uh, once I have sowed those seeds in there, I'm just going to use my hands to lightly press them down into the soil, making sure not to disturb them as much as possible. Then I'm going to head on outside. I'm going to grab the seedling mister nozzle attachment on my garden hose, and I am going to just barely missed this, you know, being really gentle not to disturb the seeds. I'm going to miss this soil tray really well. Um, ideally, you should put, you know, pre-moistened potting soil into the seed tray, but, you know, this is just bad planning on my part, so I had to water them, you know. Um, the moral of the story is just make sure that your medium has, like, really good moisture in it. Make sure it's evenly consistent throughout. That's going to be a real important key for our seeds starting, for starting these seeds. So, very important. After I have done that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to slip this into my low tunnel 
and close up the low tunnel and we are gonna wait patiently for germination to finally take place. I'm beginning the process of winter sowing these petunia seeds in around middle March, but of course you can do it a little earlier or a little later. It just depends on, you know, your climate, your growing zone, and even just the particular season, how the weather is that season. The reason I generally wait until mid-March is the days have become quite a bit longer and they're starting to warm up a little bit. We're getting those days that are, you know, maybe uh, 40 or 50 Fahrenheit and sunny and that warmth is really available for those seeds to germinate. So that's something we really need to, you know, take into account when we're starting these seeds. Um, in general, we don't have to worry about this seed tray until germination occurs. Um, if it's cold outside and there's no seedlings yet, uh, no big deal. We just wait patiently for the seeds to germinate. Now, once the seeds have germinated, we will need to pay special attention to them. The flower plants that I'm starting right now, they are tender to frost. Being tender to frost, that means if there is a frost, they're not gonna make it, they're gonna die. So, if the seeds have germinated and you have little seedlings and there is a frost predicted, uh, it is very important that you need to take action in your hoop house or your low tunnel or with your winter sowing jugs if you just have winter sowing jugs and you aren't, you know, making a bigger planting. I just use an additional frost blanket or an old sheet or something to cover up the winter sowing in addition to the low tunnel. If it is going to be colder than 30 Fahrenheit, for me at least, I, I might bring the plants inside for the night uh, just until the weather warms back up in my garden. Now, I know it sounds like a lot of trouble, but it really is a process of trial and error. And like I said, the 30 degrees and all that, that's not a hard and fast rule. That's just the rule that I personally use for my own garden. The whole thing takes a lot of trial and error and really getting a feel for what temperatures, you know, plants can handle in your own garden. And that is a little bit of the frustrating part about learning to winter sow and learning, you know, how to manipulate the temperatures in the tunnels and everything like that. But once you do get that down, the, you know, the benefits, I feel like so far outweigh any kind of, you know, adjustment period that you might have. I know a lot of people have different opinions on winter sowing, and I think this has a lot to do with those different opinions is just, you know, how much you're able to regulate the temperatures and really use that tunnel or that winter sowing container to your advantage. The great thing about these is after all chance of frost has passed, you know, we can transplant these into the garden. We're not going to have any period of hardening off or anything like that. They transplant pretty well. I transplanted a lot of petunias from winter sowing last year and it worked really great. Uh, the plants grew pretty quickly. That's about it for this one. I hope that it was helpful. If you have any experience growing petunias in Tell me all about it in the comments below. I absolutely love to hear from you guys. Love hearing about what you do in your garden. I learn so much from the comment section, seriously. Uh, if you have any questions about winter sowing these petunias, be sure to ask those down there too. I try to get to all the comments within a week. Uh, sometimes it's a little longer. I work a lot of hours. But I do try to get to those. If you're new to the channel and you liked this one, um, go ahead and hit subscribe. I'd love to have you. We're making new videos about vegetable gardening and uh, cut flower farming and maybe the occasional DIY, something different too. We really never know what you're gonna, ex you know, gonna get on this channel. So if you like a surprise, you might like it. I hope that you guys are having such an amazing day and I'll talk to you all later. Bye guys.